Hello, duplicate tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap with me, Blue Ankylo. So in the last episode, we, uh, well, we got our sword, we got it upgraded with the elemental powers, and I forgot something very simple and straightforward. <laughs> the obvious answer to where we need to go next is... You gotta use the new power we just unlocked, which is, of course, this, and... Thanks to our new pound strength, double power link can push large blocks. I even talked about that as I was getting it, and then as soon as I left the castle to go look around, I completely forgot. Typical blue, typical blue. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the next area. There may have been another block like that somewhere else I could push. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the first one that came to mind. I've been trying to get to this area of the map for a while now, so I figure I should go here first. All right, we got a lot of bats. And another kinstone piece, whoop de woo Anything else? No. Probably not. It's too bad. There's probably nothing else in here. Okay. Still have not used kinstone pieces at all. I'll just gather up a whole bunch of them, and then at some point I will try to uh, start unlocking things. See, like that. We'll just keep gathering them all up. Okay, we got a little house here, or a little tree house, I guess. Percy! Weren't you in town earlier? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we met him during the festival. Uh, right. How did you get back here, by the way? <laughs> oh, so he wants a kinstone. At the inn. Okay. Sure. So, he'll... Blah, 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 poem, poem, I don't care. So we need uh, a specific piece of kinstone, right? He's just going to tell the same story over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. He wants me to go to the inn and find him the other half of his kinstone piece. I want to blow everything up accidentally with bombs. Oh, look at all that money. All right. So, um, first things first, let's fix this path. Now we can actually get through there. Also, yeah, that looks pretty obvious. I'm glad I noticed that one. Alright, what do we get in here? More fairies. Well, I don't mind healing up. I think that's just a pure fairy fountain. Nothing else really exciting. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't think... Can I even get into the inn yet? I don't know. Probably can't do that poet's quest just yet. Something from the castle? What? What's going on? Oh, Vati's being bad. Just because he's a bad kind of guy. How'd you get in here? Well, he teleports, obviously, can't you tell? He doesn't even walk, he just teleports right in front of you. It's a true sign of an evil man. No, don't kill the king, or something equally bad. Hmm. Not killed, maybe. Uh-oh. There's ominous music going on. Mm, yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, dear. Sounds like Vati has, like, uh, possessed the king or something. Oh dear. Well, sounds like the soldiers are now commanded by the king to be bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it, Link. Oh. <laughs> so according, he wanted me to check the map. Okay. There is something right in there. That's a green one. I guess that's the wind one or something. Maybe the wind one has something to do with running quicker running like the wind. Didn't we get a hint about that a little while ago? Hey! What the heck was that? That guy just stole all my money! Okay, you guys suck. I don't know why I have such a hard time with those spear guys. Something wrong with me. Hmm, and how do you deal with a tree that's knocked over? Uh, can my upside down rod fix that? No. It's like it's more like an inside-out rod, technically. 
Anyway, let's fix this path. Now that we're fixing all the paths, it will be much easier to get around. There we go. That's how you take them out. Caster Wilds. I don't have Pegasus boots. Come on, game. How do you know that I don't have... How do you know that I need Pegasus boots? Oh, that guy's got a bow. Wow. Well, too bad for him. Okay, well, there's lots of, like, trees that are, like, in the way. <laughs> What are we going to do with all these trees? Okay, we got another little portal. I guess we should check out the house there then. I have a feeling this guy is going to be back after I turn small anyway. Nope, he stays dead. Okay, that's good. Some things seem to come back after you teleport or go through the portal, I guess. Okay. There's a bean next to his house. Hmm. Is that the rock over here? I get the feeling that there's like a side quest here if I know where to drop some water. How do you know exactly where? Is it actually this little thing here? I could go pick up some water and try that. It's not, ex it's not extremely clear on where I need to put the water. And I hope it's not hot spring water, because that will take forever. It's a long way away. Well, if I had Pegasus boots, I would use them. <laughs> Castor Wilds. Swampland and Mire. And cool music. Oh, we're going to sink in there. It's not very good. Yeah, I noticed! Okay, so you can't walk across it. Can chop those down. Run! I don't I don't think we're gonna make it. <laughs> I don't know. So we absolutely must have Pegasus boots to get through that. Um let's try the water idea. Some water? There we go. I wonder if you can pour it on the dead trees actually. Okay, let's try that first. That would have been too cool. <laughs> no, I think probably we'll have to smash into those with Pegasus boots or something like that. Probably. So let's go try to find that bean. Let's see if we can figure that out down there. Maybe that's the trick. There's also a house there I didn't see. Alright, so is it this little rock? That didn't seem to do anything. Um, maybe it's like right in front of his house? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Some of these puzzles just... I don't know what my problem is. It's like I just can't figure out what they want me to do. <laughs> I must be getting old. I can't figure out Zelda puzzles anymore. Okay, well one more try. And this time I'll try like right in front of his house. He said it was close to his house, right? I don't know. If this doesn't work... I'll probably put a cut in the video and try to figure it out. This is not going to work. There's no way. No, there's no way. All right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I'm just going to try out a few different things, see if I can figure this out. See you in a little bit. All right, welcome back, folks. So I gave up on that. There, I didn't seem to figure any way out to do it. Um, the way I understand it is sort of some events have been unlocked by trying to go to the swamp, I guess. Um, things have changed in town, from what I understand. It's kind of one of the least... One of the things I don't like about games too much is when they have, like, sort of unintuitive, to me anyway, oh, suddenly stuff has changed and you can talk to people that you couldn't talk to before or go in a house that you couldn't before. Um, and I guess the hint is that we're talking about shoes and boots, so we should check out the shoemaker shop, although nothing would happen here earlier. So it's kind of weird. But there you go. We had to come back here. So now he's asleep, and the shoes got knocked off. Remember last time, when we came in here, um, we couldn't even get up the stairs because the shoes were in the way. Now we can get up here. And surprise, there's Minish. Y yes 
that's me. How do you guys, you got like a telephone network or something? Yes. How do you guys even know about the princess? Isn't she like miles away in Minish sort of terms? Um, so surprise, surprise, the little Minish make his shoes. Are you really surprised? Oh. Okay. Rem the Shoemaker. Oh no, I have to go all the way back to the forest. It's a long way to go. Alright. Yes, I, I get it. You told me that last time. Alright, well, the, the guys are sleeping. So, <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to guess that, that you have to go to the uh, swamp, talk to Ezlo, and then come back here specifically. But whatever, I, I got it now, so let's get going. There probably nothing else we'll be able to do, so let's just start heading over in that direction. Um, I think I can go to the right now. Yeah, the guards should let me out. Isn't there an exit? Yeah, the the guards are all looking for that same for the shining light, whatever. The Triforce, you know what it is. <laughs> um, I keep going the wrong way. Sorry, guys town's too big. Oh look, there's a little secret mini entrance there probably, if you're small. Anyway, we can go through here now. So we might as well open this place up. Try not to get blown up. Eh, mystery she shells, that's cool. Oh look who's back! Let's make sure I don't accidentally blow him up. <laughs> Good job, Talon. Spare keys inside the house. You know what's cool though? She's finally moved, so we're actually gonna be able to get in there. Also, I thought it was funny. You're so small, you can't walk across railroad tracks. Why can't you walk underneath a fence? <laughs> You're so tiny. We should be able to walk under fences. Okay, um. Grow. Smash pots? Did he hide it in a pot? He hid it in a pot. Of course he did. What else is in here? I don't know. <laughs> so I suppose it would only make s You wouldn't want to walk out of his house from the inside after he thought he locked the door in there. So we're gonna... We're gonna transform and we're gonna go the long way around. Because... <laughs> that would be a little bit creepy to walk out of his house and go, Here you go. Here's your key. We'll just make it look like we s robbed it anyway earlier. I don't know. Here you go, Talon. We found your key, uh... In a... Hail bale. Hay bale. I'm Blue, the house thief. Thanks. So maybe this is how I was supposed to go anyway. You're welcome. So now I'm allowed to actually just walk right through. That's cool. So you got a cool cow over there. wonder if I can get, like, milk off the cow. That was an ocarina thing, right? I know in real life a bottle would not work. Nope. <laughs> no such luck. You'd need, like, some sort of milker type thing. A pail, at least. So I could, uh... Wait a second. I could have come through that door and come out this side as a mini link this time. Is there anything over here to do as a mini link? I don't think I could get past the grass. No, I could. I could walk up here. I could probably make it all the way through. The cows look delicious! Come on! <laughs> Can't go that way. Um... Syrup Witch's House. Well, I can't get across that. I think it's probably a good idea to explore this uh, field first. Oh, look. I know how to deal with this. We learned how to do this at the beginning of the episode. Huzzah! Give me my treasure. Not bad. We like money. And I have no idea what to do with that. So... There's like a little tree stump. It's like it was chopped in half. Hmm... 
bomb it? Blow up a tree stump? I don't know. Let's see if it works. Probably some item we don't have then, I guess. I don't know. Okay, well that covers that. So this is a magical tree. I think we'll be able to get into that as a mini link. Shrunken link. Let's give it a try. Okay, can I actually go this way like I thought? Oh, I can't even get over that. Well, so much for that plan. It's so hard to get around when you're small. What a pain. Um... So what's the point of having... You can just get in and out of the house. Hmm... There's gotta be a way through the house, you think? Oh well, there's probably a, another portal somewhere else that I just don't know about. Huh, I thought I was being so clever there. Sometimes you can like move the furniture around to find holes, but no, that's nothing. So I guess all that means is you can get in the house from there. So I was looking at it the wrong way. I was thinking you could get out through there, but nope. We're gonna have to get to this area as Mini Link from some other direction. Oh well, no big deal. And then there must be some more miniature Link moves that I don't know about. Because it's... I just can't see a way you could get into that area. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, also let's fix this. There we go. Much easier later on to get around. So that's a mini Link thing. First though, let's try to get across. See if I can... If I go straight down. Yeah. So this is kind of one of the areas. I don't know where this is going to take me for sure. But I will pick up all the kinstones. <laughs> yep, we're getting lots of those. Can't quite get into that area. It's possible with the, if I'd been just fast enough when I sort of floated over, I might have been able to make it down to that left area. I don't know though. Seems a little bit far off. So where does this take me? Oh, this will take me across the water. Cool! Well, that's one problem solved. Feels like I might have missed something up there. I didn't explore it all, but... Oh well, we're in Lake Hillia now. This is another area to Long Long Ranch. Probably a good idea to just push that out of the way. Now I can come back anytime. Another one of these. Okay, where's this go? Left? Does this go anywhere? Can I, like, get across this? Nope, that would've been cool. Um, maybe I could get up there. I don't know. I'll try. Now that we can get around so much easier. So if I just go straight left, maybe I can make it. I don't know how long you've got before you're, like, too low to get up on that second platform, but... No, that's not gonna work. Oh, I did make it up. I don't even know how I managed to do that. I thought I was way too low. Oh well. Let's push this out of the way. Open up another area. Hey, Goron, buddy. Uh, how about I bomb it? Well, I could really just blow it up. Don't need more Gorons. You just need more links. Okay, so before we go... Is there anything else down there? Did this little side trip just open that area up? No, there's more in here. Mayor Hoggins Lakeside Cabin. Okay, let's check this out. Or we're back in the Minish Woods anyway. We've been in some of, some of this area. Oh look, a quarter heart. Oh yeah, we saw that earlier. Alright, good. I'll take the quarter heart any day. Okay. Syrup the Witch's Hut. Well, I must be getting close. I didn't even think I was going the right direction, but I think we got it. Woohoo! Go us! Hey, how's it going? Um... That sounds nice, but what I really want is... Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. No, I need... Oh, okay. It's for the guy, right? How much does this cost? 
Yeah, it's for the the shoemaker. One with it's a wake up mushroom. Okay. Yeah, buy it. Cool. And what about this potion? Can I buy some? I think this is the one that just heals you, maybe. Okay. Sure. Spend some money, but now we've got some good stuff. If I'm ever having a hard time, I'll be able to use that. And I'll use the mushroom to wake the guy up. Okay, good. We're ready to go. I thought it was like maple syrup I needed or something like that. <laughs> You'd think with a name like syrup that that's what would wake them up. But it was just a weird mushroom. Okay, let's head on back. At least we're making some progress this episode. <laughs> I'm unlocking some paths and figuring stuff out a little bit. I think I still need to go through the ranch one more time. And try to go up and right to Lake Hillia. There's probably not much I'll be able to do, but I want to check it out. Sort of while we're in the area. Um, did I go up? I did go up from here. Did I go right? I just went down from here. I never went up. So what do we get? Anything? Yeah, look at this. We got a house. With the dog in it. And a pot. Oh, you know what you can pro I just thought of that now. Think of all the areas we can go to that have pots. <laughs> Alright, well I figured out one way to find a bunch of new areas. Oh, that I feel so stupid for not thinking of that. Hey puppy. So you can talk to animals when you're in small form. Luckily they don't eat you. So he probably needs some dog food or something. I can't even leave this area. Hm. Oh well. The good news is I finally thought of flipping pots upside down. That's got to count for something. <laughs> Seriously, I have actually played this game before. You'd think I'd remember this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, you still can't swim though. More of these little stumps that are strange. Okay, well we didn't get anything, but I did learn a valuable lesson. Blue learns about... Tricks. Okay, we can't go down there. Anything here? A little secret? No. Okay. I think it's just about time to go back to town then. Um, I could do the jump down again. Yeah. Let's try going to like this area right there. I don't know if I'll make it for sure, but I'll try. Also, oh, I forgot to do this too. Sorry. Before I do that, let's see what's over this little wooden plank. A quarter heart. It's very important. Or oh, maybe not a quarter heart. A kinstone piece. Okay. Well, we got to see where our quarter heart is, but we just can't get it. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for, but we'll have to get that stuff later. Maybe you'll, maybe you need the flippers for that. All right. So we're back. We're back in action. Back in green. Okay. Let's see if we can get over to this area quick enough. And up. All right. No problem. Do we get anything for coming here? Maybe, I don't know, is there like a shovel or something? Hmm. Feels like that should have something in it, but... Okay, I think I got everything that's not in the town. So let's go back to the town. Now that I know about the pot flipping trick, there's definitely going to be a couple new areas we can get to that, well, aren't even that new. Oh, hey, how's it going here? You made it to town. Lawn Lawn Milk for 100 Rupees. Wow. But my bottle's already full of blue stuff. I thought the blue stuff was better than the white stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, first, let's go to the Shoemaker. Seeing as that's what the whole point of this was. We'll go into small mode. And then we'll give this to one of the little mini dudes. Little elves. Yeah, I just, uh, I just got the stuff. Yeah, I, I got the stuff right now, don't I? Do I have to give it to him when I'm big? Oh, did I do it backwards again? I always mix this up for some reason. Alright, so I have to give him the mushroom in full size form. I think. I hope. Okay, wake up. 
There we go. Just shove it in his mouth. Oh, wake up, mushroom. Yeah, you gotta get to work, buddy. <laughs> yeah, something urgent. Like, give me some shoes. <laughs> yes, you sure do. Mm, yes, actually. Wow, I wish real sh shoe stores and sh store owners were that nice. If you wake them up when they're at work, they give you some shoes for free. It's a pretty good deal. Alright, thanks, buddy. Pegasus boots. Yay! Now we can get around much easier. Oh, shoes for Zelda, too. I don't know. She's kind of a statue, buddy. Uh, it's not really that good. <laughs> Alright, so Pegasus shoes. You do have to equip them in this version, but... Ta-da! We can get around a little bit faster. And probably the first thing to do, number numero uno, will be to go learn our new move. Can you guess what it is? There's something kind of missing when we're running around. So, this is going to be very hard to learn, I'm sure. And yeah, I've got way more skill. I'm so skilled, you don't know what you got coming, buddy. Yes, please train me. The dash attack. Equip Pegasus boots. Equip sword. Run. It's pretty easy. Yes. So far his techniques haven't been very difficult. And that makes us his finest student. <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on. You don't have to possess me again. Stop it! Why do you have to do this every time? Yes, I get it. You run into stuff with your sword. Yes, it's really not that difficult. Every other Zelda game, you just do it automatically. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Thanks, buddy. So what's next? Jump. So I need to jump. I can't jump yet. So. That's good. Um, now where are all those pots? There's a pot. I could have done this earlier. So let's go learn about what there is in the miniature world here. There's probably a lot of minis. Miniature... Minish guys. Hey, how's it going? Well, you are living above the uh, shop, the cooking shop. Oh, this guy's got a pot. Huh? I was thinking he might have like a key... a kinstone, but... Nope. Town Minish wear blue hats, apparently. We're learning stuff, guys. I wonder how they get around so quick. Well, the neat thing is they have their own little subculture, and nobody knows anything about it. Oh, this one seems to be not so good, though. You guys really need to clean out your attics. Here you go. I'll hop up. Hey, I thought you could suck those guys up. Oh, well. Haha, <laughs> take that. Stupid monster things. Alright, I'll take the treasure. Yay, mysterious shells. I get a feeling whoever was sleeping here had a bad day. Haha, <laughs> I knocked the little bug down on the ground. It's a long way to fall. Ah! Oh, can I steal his bottle? Ho ho ho! Link the thief strikes again! Hi! No, uh, I'm just exploring! You don't mind if I take this, do you? Yeah, just the bottle. Haha! -ha! Wait, I have to feed him first? Sure. So I think that... Was that the dog that I was talking to? Yeah, it was. So we've been there before. No big deal. Okay, we get a new bottle. So I probably should have come here first, and it would have saved me a bit of backtracking, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright. Okay, let's just get out of here. We're good. 
So we got bottle number two. That's a good improvement. Hey guys, just traveling on through. I mean, I don't think I can use it, right? I've got a bottle with food in it. Yeah, dog food. Alright, well I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think, can I get out? Oh, it's a little secret room. Hey guys. Yeah, the cafe is pretty cool. That's true, I imagine getting stepped on would be one of the biggest dangers. They live, ah, that's kind of a cool little a little bed there, hey? It's like a teacup bed. That's cool. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Um, I won't get stepped on, though. I'm too powerful. I've got, like, six hearts, anyway. Okay. So I think that covers that one. Um, should I do another one before we end the episode? I need to get, like, out and about on the ground. Also, there's this heart in here I haven't figured out how to get yet. Hmm. It's got to be from the front door, and you just can't get in yet. Yeah, I still can't get in. Um, oh, this guy's opened up. Cool. This guy wasn't here before. Pickle light. Put in your bottle and stuff happens. Alright, well, I have no empty bottles right now, so we can't test that out. Okay, is there any other buildings we can get into? Here you go. So I missed this one before. Who would have known that everybody's jar and every every single house is like a teleporter or portal? Right, can't you can only talk to dogs. Yeah, thanks for not eating me. Well in this game, I think as far as I know, most dogs and cats are pretty nice. Oh. It takes you around to the roof. That's kinda of fun. I wonder if I can like put that up with a bit of water and then jump in it. I bet you I can do that actually. I'll need to bring some water back, and then you can get up the other side. Okay, we'll do that later. I'll have to, like, probably what I will do is, like, after I get rid of the dog food, I'll fill it up, the second bottle, with water, and then I'll put that fire out. And that would let you get into this house as a mini and check out some stuff. Can I push this? Can I pull this? Looks like it's on a little track, but... There's no seeming ability to push. You can certainly climb up as a mini and get up there and do something. Hmm, oh well. No big deal. Lost track of how long this episode's been going. This ghost is blocking a little mini entrance too, I think. So is there any other pots? Um, can we get in here yet, also? We can get in here, finally! Woohoo! Thank you for letting me into Happy Hearth. No, not right now. All right, maybe I'll buy a maybe I'll buy one later. Oh, right, you rent a room and you get a treasure, I think. Yeah, that's how it goes. I don't know. You probably just get like a kinstone piece or something. Yeah, you probably just get kinstone pieces. I'm almost willing to bet. Those look like they need to be lit on fire. Not much. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, strange how the king's a different person these days. Very peculiar. Yay, red ones are good. Oh, I wonder if that's the one that the poet wanted. Or something like that. Hey girls, what's up? So this is probably supposed to be the three mages. It's like, remember from Ocarina of Time, there's the three different kind of... Um, what legendary, whatever, you know, the three, fire, water, earth, you know, they teach you all the spells or something like that. I think it's sort of like that, I think. Was there a pot in here? There was. Chest it out. So we'll learn more about the mayor, or something. Oh, we have to get rid of the masks first, okay. Luckily, I think we actually can do that. Remember, Ezlo, I think Ezlo said he didn't like the masks very much. Bam! Take that mask. Take that mask. Give me your money. We're robbing the mayor now. We're breaking his precious masks. <laughs> We're wrecking his place. 
Alright. I'm feeling pretty happy now that I remembered about the flipping upside down of pots. No one even had to tell me that. Alright, how's it going in here, guys? Yeah, he's important, sure. Huh, that's cool. I thought I might get something slightly better. So, it's possible I have the key, the kinstone for uh, that poet over on the west side of town, outside of town. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I got the right one. You might have to actually rent a room for a bunch of money to get the right thing for him. Not 100% sure. Still can't get into school, I don't think. Can't get into here either. The library is still closed. Um, there actually is a pot on top of the library, so that's kind of cool. Um, can I get in here? Yeah, but he doesn't have any pots. Dog in the way. Okay, I think that wrapped. I think that's good for this episode, honestly. The next thing I'll want to do is uh, trade in the dog food, pick up some water, maybe uh, talk to the poet, see if I can do a kinstone. I gotta do some more kinstone stuff for sure. So, I don't know, I think we're getting there. We're figuring it out. I also have the Pegasus boots, so I'll be able to actually, uh... No, oh, that's still shut. I'll be able to actually um, go to the next dungeon next episode, I think, pretty easily. Alright, that does it for now. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.